So tonight's question is, can you take a very simplistic plot that would take probably about 20 minutes to unfold and stretch it out into a movie that goes over 90 minutes? Well, if you look at cinematic history, you'll find that it can be done, but is the endeavor worthwhile? Cinematic class is about to begin, and your professor is in. Greetings, salutations, and other sundry of air. I am your cinematic professor and purveyor of truth in movies. And tonight's lesson plan is a movie called Azor. Now, the first warning flag that should have sprung up that this movie might be a bit dull is when the condescending critics of the fabled two-letter cities began singing its praises. That's always the first sign that you're running into trouble. And frankly, that's why, dear viewers, you come here for the true meaning, truth in film. Now, ah, it's a rather laborious tale about an international banking uh, service that serves as a cure for insomnia. Folks, I made it 40 minutes into this movie, and I actually found my eyelids starting to droop, and it took quite an effort to try not to doze off at that point. At the one hour and eight minute mark, finally, there was a conversation, a dialogue held between two characters, which actually turned out to be rather intriguing. And it was all surrounding the nature and possibly the origin or the conclusion of what happened to the mysterious Mr. Keys. Believe me when I tell you folks, I was lucky that I made it that far. Alrighty, let me give you the names of some of the people involved in this. Our two main characters are Yvonne and Ines. And Yvonne is played by Fabrizio Ragone. And Ines is played by Stefani Clou. Okay, so there's your two. Uh, and they do a fine job. There's, there's no problem with the acting in this. It's just they don't have the material to work with. Our director is Andreas Fontana. He's Swiss. And apparently he's a big to-do over in Switzerland. I, you know, I don't know, maybe the Swiss are, you know, this second time in this month I've had to criticize the Swiss for one of their movies. Uh, it, you know, I, maybe they're seeing something in this that that I'm certainly not. The events of the story all take fold in Argentina around 1970. So we get a switch back and forth between Argentinian Spanish and French, and they're bouncing the languages back and forth, not to worry. You do have uh, the subtitles in there, and occasionally uh, some of the characters speak English. So you've got three different languages uh, going on in this movie, but subtitles are provided, and that's good. This is shot in, uh, in what I like to call 4.3 Extended HD. Now, normally when you go into high definition, there is uh, a 16.9 ratio on your screen that automatically goes with it. Uh, while that may have been the case back in the early days, it is now possible to shoot um, HD and not be in that 16-9 ratio. I believe this movie, uh, maybe because it was primarily intended for uh, Swiss audiences, was shot differently. Perhaps their screens are different, or perhaps their streaming services are different. So when you actually watch it, uh, it'll look like a 4-3 setup, slightly extended. Uh, it is HD quality, but it's uh, it, it's not the 16-9 that you're you're used to. Uh, like I said, it's what I like to call 4.3 uh, Extended HD. Okay. What's the bottom line here, folks? Uh, this is really a horrible film. It truly is. Basically, you have one hour and 15 minutes of rather tedious foreplay before you get a 15-minute climax revealing Mr. Keys and the rather confounding Lorazo. <laughs> okay. I sat through this thing. You know, I, I I see where the it's not anything new. It's certainly a you know a mystery that has uh, some standard templates that it puts in place and lets it follow. But you know, here's the bottom line, folks. This thing drags so much. I'll tell you what, the Swiss must be awfully bored if they can sit through this and stay awake. 
I sit through these movies so that you don't have to. We're going to fail this one. Give it an F. You're welcome. Now that you have learned, what do you have learned? Here ended your lesson.